Um, yeah, let's go ahead and begin. So overall energy I pulled for Pisces this month was Eight of Wands, which is fast movement, action, um, passion. Uh, I do feel like this is career related as well. Um, allowing your, you know, renewed passions in your love life and your career to drive you. Uh, Pisces are very passionate people anyways, uh, so it doesn't really surprise me, but I do feel like this is fast action, lots of movement forward, um, and just being full of passion. So very awesome. I love that. Um, I do, what's interesting is I do feel like before I put this up, I do want to say, uh, you might need to slow down and breathe a little bit, Pisces, this month, um, and just try to uh, relax, go with the flow, um, because there might just be quite a bit of movement that you might not necessarily be expecting, um, and taking some deep breaths and possibly going through, um, you know, taking some time to meditate and just might help you um, release some, you know, energy and release some old patterns that you might be finding yourself go through as well. So um, I did pull an overall angel, angel advice and I got for Pisces this month, cleanse and detoxify. So it says, with great love and respect, we ask that you detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you develop life-affirming ways to deal with the stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace upon your newly purified body. As soon as I picked this up, I felt Reiki treatments and I also felt diet and nutrition. So for any of you who are wanting, and I feel like sacral chakra energy quite a bit actually, creation, passion, allowing. Um, so for any of you guys who have been considering a Reiki treatment, um, or doing some sort of energy cleanse, that might be really great. Uh, you can also detoxify yourself from any kind of negative situations in your life, negative people, situations that are just no longer serving you. I really feel the need to tell you, Pisces, as giving as of a sign as you are and how easy it is for you to take on other people's garbage, I really want to push the cleansing and the detoxifying for you this month. You know, just hitting this message home quite strong this month for you. So, um... Yeah. Um, okay, so I do feel like I also want to say to you this month, Pisces, please stand up for what you believe in. You're going to gain respect by holding your ground. I do feel like Pisces are being asked to step into what would be considered a leadership role. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised at all. I do feel a lot of career stuff. But what I do feel like I want to say to you is maybe, you know, towards the beginning of the month, um, I am uploading these in March, so this could be applicable to the end of March as well. I want to say to you, take the time to go within, um, learn from some of the past mistakes or what it is that you're considering to be failures, and uh, recognize them as an opportunity to learn. I feel like I want to tell you to go within. Um, and figure out what it is that you want on a practical level because I do feel it is all about manifesting um, new beginnings, new careers, practical things for you Pisces, new opportunities. Um, but I do feel like I want to say to you it's really time for you to get quiet and really decide what it is that you want. Um, and you know with you being as empathic as you are, uh, I do feel like I want to say to you please go spend some time alone. Um, and let that drive you. Uh, I do feel as well that I want to say to you, please release any low vibrational energy such as regret, anger, resentment um, regarding the past or old karmic attachments that are still lingering around. You know, you can't change the past, but you can certainly learn from it. Uh, and I do feel like um, some of you still feel chained or you're chained to old beliefs, old ways of thinking, and it's preventing you from allowing your heart to open. Um, this could literally be keeping you from being able to enter into a new relationship, either with yourself and putting yourself first, or with um, a new person, because I do feel like there's some codependency that is affecting you. Um, so again, it's either a tie to an old karmic attachment, an old relationship, having some regret around a certain connection, I'm not too sure, but I do feel like I want to say to you, um, allow your heart to break open. Pisces are just generally so loving and caring anyways, um, but sometimes they put so many people first that they don't actually allow themselves to follow their hearts. So um, just remember 
that codependency can be something that's affecting you. And if you really want love, um, true love with no codependency, um, you're going to have to spend some time, like I said, in meditation, uh, growing your consciousness and expanding your awareness, getting creative, stepping into your power, and deciding what it is that you want. Um, I've got the Queen of Wands here, and she is very passionate. I just feel like I want to say to you, Pisces, like, man, allow your passions to really drive you. And I feel like for those of you who have new business ideas or... Um, have been thinking about moving forward in a new career or with a new opportunity, go for it. Go for it. Um, and, and get creative. Go after what you want. Go after the relationship that you want. Go after the connection that you want. Um, the work opportunities. Just allow yourself to get creative. I do feel, again, meditation, meditation, meditation. Expanding that consciousness. Um, and allowing, allowing your old self to kind of die. Um, I, I have the death card here and I want to say to you, it's really all about allowing, you know, the lower self to kind of die to the higher self and having enough love and pride in yourself to be able to allow that to happen. So old situations, old connections um, that are no longer serving you and allowing yourself to send out new ships, new opportunities. Um... I feel like I also want to say setting your intentions. You know, this person has planted seeds or sent out there and they're just waiting for their ships to return. Um, and I do want to say to you, any new ideas um, in regards to manifesting a new beginning for yourself, allow yourself to have those ideas. Allow yourself to be driven by those ideas. At the center of your reading, Pisces, I have the Emperor, which is all about stepping into your power and creating your empire. And I do want to say to you, um, I know that there's a lot of fear that all of us are being encouraged right now to step into the new and not necessarily know exactly where it is that we're going. So I definitely feel like I want to encourage you to have courage, um, but really it's all about you deciding what it is that you want. Um, and having enough faith and courage in yourself to allow that. I do feel some stubbornness. I pulled the Four of Cups here. So try really hard not to focus on everything that you perceive as either A, going wrong, or what I feel like this is um, speaking to me like is you're not stepping into your courage or your uh, ability to manifest because of the way you think things should be. When in all reality, if you just kind of looked at it from a little bit of a higher perspective, um, you would see that the universe is truly trying to offer you something pretty amazing right now. Um, but it's going to take you having to face your fear with some confidence. Let go of the thinking a little bit, the worry, the concerns. And I just feel like I want to say to you, you know, I've got the Four of Swords here, and this is all about you resting. Um, and just, you know, if these thoughts or situations are bothering you, just kind of allow them to hang with it. Kind of surrender to the fact that you don't necessarily know how everything is going to work out um, and allow your creativity to drive you. Um, I, what I want to say to you is like play. You know, journalize. What do you want? What do you want to attract into your life? Um, when you close your eyes and you imagine what brings you happiness, what is it? Stop feeling like you're going to be left out in the cold if you're going to if you feel like you're wanting to go after that. It's not necessarily true. It's just your perception of things. Um, I really do feel like finances are going to be just fine as long as you allow yourself to follow your intuition and you know be a little vulnerable. So just a little message there. Um, I do feel like I want to say to you that you can do whatever it is that you set your mind to, Pisces. And I want to say be open to giving and receiving, not necessarily giving all the time. Pisces is a very open sign. They give, they give, they give. Um, but I do want to remind you that you are worthy of an equal energy exchange. I have the Six of Pentacles here, which this person is giving and receiving. You may be over giving a little too much and not really necessarily thinking of yourself. Um or giving to yourself, but I just want to remind you that uh, you are worthy of an equal energy exchange, Pisces. Um, and if you are feeling the need to shift and change, which we are in 
uh, by the time I upload these, I'm sure it'll be over, but the new moon in Aries is coming up, which is going to encourage you to uh, make some shifts in your life uh, as well if you are wanting to make some major changes. So just remember to put yourself first. Uh, and if you're not sleeping, if you're worried, if you're concerned, remember it's just your thinking that's driving you crazy, not the actual situation. You've got this. You can do whatever you put your mind to, Pisces. You have the gift of imagination, so now it's just time to step into action, which is what Aries is all about. Um, some of you may be building some pretty strong foundations for yourself. Remember to come from a place of love always. I do feel like I want to tell you to get around more like-minded people. Again, standing up for what you believe in um, and attracting to you exactly what it is that you want. I've got the Two of Cups here. Um, and what I love here is the message with this is success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So um, what I do feel like with this card, though, is coming into balance with your divine masculine and divine feminine within as well, loving yourself enough to start a very nice firm foundation for yourself, building something that's going to be um, and last a lifetime. So with community. I feel community with that. Uh, and ultimately, Pisces, I do feel like I want to mention pentacles to you. I do feel like I want to mention money to you, remembering that you can create and manifest whatever it is that you want into this physical reality. And I do feel very strongly like that's something that you're going to be focused on quite a bit this month. Assuming your leadership role, stepping aside and just going for it. Um, yeah, absolutely. I've got the Knight of Pentacles. It might feel slow, but what's awesome is I've got the Abundance card here for you, and I've got the King of Pentacles card. So it might start slow at the beginning of the month. Um, you might have some sort of new idea, new business idea, new job, new career, something. But by the end of it, you are being asked to step into your power, step into your leadership role, and manifest, and know that you have abundance waiting here for you. So... Um, I am going to go ahead and pull a few cards. I've got the um, Doreen Virtue Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck, which I always pull. So I'm going to pull three from there. I love the practical messages on these cards. interesting I just heard the I am clear audience so I just heard the um, song stand by me for some reason that might mean something to one of you so the first card I have is make a wish this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation yeah that's what I was just saying it might be slow moving in the beginning but by the end of it you're gonna be positioning yourself to be the king of Pentacles so this is awesome so it's really about you um, seeing something from a different perspective, going within, and deciding what you want to manifest for yourself, Pisces. Uh, the second message I have. Divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Yes, this is what I'm saying. Stop with the stubbornness. See what the universe is trying to offer you. It's not necessary to feel like you're going to be left out in the cold if you go after what it is that you want. Um, so please expect miracles. I love that. Great messages, Pisces. And the third message I have for you is wait. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. So again, like I was saying, as far as slow movement, um, going within, taking some time to figure out what it is that you want. I am recording this around the new moon, so um, it could literally be just setting your intentions um, and then literally expecting a miracle for yourself. You are a limitless being. Um, you can have everything that you want. You just have to allow yourself to have it. So... I am also going to pull three cards from the Romance Angels and Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Please keep in mind that this is about whoever it is that you're thinking about. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to be with this person. Um, 
Again, this is all about self-love right now, so please, please remember that it's all about loving yourself first. The first message I have is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life, which is what I pulled here and was saying at the beginning of the reading. So um, letting go of some old relationships, old addictive behaviors, um, shining some light on your shadow aspects, allowing yourself to be vulnerable and really open your heart to what it is that you truly want. Um, and if you are on a twin flame awakening journey, you know that codependency is not in the cards <laughs> for you. And this is something that needs to be um, worked upon. So the second message, and we all have it. So we all have codependency in us. With you, Pisces, what I really feel like I want to say to you is um, putting yourself first with that card. The second card I have is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I think that card speaks for itself. And the third card I have is Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Sometimes um, Pisces can get so caught up in emotion that um, I know that some Pisces are definitely prone to sadness because they just kind of feel everything. So I'm just going to say to you, Pisces, you're powerful lightworkers. And um, I just want to say... I love how it says right here, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Have fun, spread your light, do things that bring you joy. Um, Eckhart Tolle, the power of now. Making, making a conscious decision right now to feel good so that you can attract more joy into your life. More good into your life. Um, I'm also adding a uh, Ascended Masters message to the everyone's um, reading this month. So, again, take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, but... I have Detach from Drama, Pallas Athena, and I am going to read this from the message book. So, uh, Ascended, message, Ascended Master message is Detach from Drama. I already feel like some of you are going to say, oh... That resonates with me so well. So, okay. It says you've been drawn into upsetting world. Uh, I'm sorry, you've been drawn into an upsetting world of human egos by focusing upon drama. Although it's nothing more than a story, the drama may feel frightening to you. This card comes to you as a helping hand in fighting your way out of the story by detaching from drama. Don't get pulled into the various plots, plots, twists, turns, and characters. Instead, view it as a movie that you know will have a happy or at least resolved ending. Of course, you'll have compassion for everyone involved, yet you don't have to let the drama pull you down in any way. As you focus upon positive, you will bring about a positive res resolution. Additional meanings for this card. Let go of attempts to make everyone happy. That's exactly what I was saying to you at the beginning of the reading. Allow others to make their own choices in life. Don't delay your life's purpose by focusing upon other people's issues. Avoid gossiping or judging others. And then a little bit about Pallas Athena. She is a Grecian goddess of wisdom who became the patroness of Athens in the contest with the ocean god Poseidon. The term Pallas is often given to Greek deities and her more common name is simply Athena. She is a war goddess who uses wisdom instead of weapons to win conflicts. Call upon Pallas Athena for help with any conflict or any situation calling for wisdom. So, very cool. I love it. So, you know, to really simply wrap things up, Pisces, it's all about you going within, taking the time to figure out what it is that you want, uh, getting away from the codependent relationships or regrets, feeling any chains to some karmic relationships or karmic situations, um, taking the time to go into meditation, really go after 
what I want to say to you is if you really want love, taking the time to grow your consciousness and go after that, allowing the death and rebirth to happen, um, having the courage to step out of your comfort zone and figure out what it is that you want, not being scared to embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind, uh, knowing that you can do what it is that you set your mind to, getting around like-minded people, um, and knowing that you are the king of pentacles. You have every opportunity right now to manifest, manifest, manifest. So...